Opponents of New York's gay marriage law are suing now to overturn it. A representative of New Yorkers for Constitutional Freedoms and a rabbi filed the suit today. They say New York's Senate violated its own procedures and the state's open meetings law when it approved the bill. Yesterday was the first day same-sex marriage became legal in New York. It's just an accumulation of a lot of hard work of many people, and we're just so happy to be celebrating. We think it's a historic day for New York, and we're going to look back with great, great fondness on this day. Thousands of people protested the new law across the state of New York. They say Governor Andrew Cuomo redefined marriage and did not give the voters of New York a say in the matter. Maggie Gallagher is with the National Organization for Marriage. She's joining us now to talk about same-sex marriage in New York. Maggie, as I mentioned, thousands turned out to protest uh, lawmakers redefining marriage. What do the protesters want to see happen now? Well, I was at the rallies there in Manhattan, and it, I, it was 10,000 people, thousands more than we predicted, largely Latino, African-American, and a few white suburban girls like me. And there were rallies in Albany, Rochester, uh, uh, Syracuse, which we didn't even organize, as well as Buffalo. And the message is, let the people vote, letthepeoplevote.com. The goal, this was imposed by elites, by a sellout of the Republican Party in particular. And we have a four-year plan. The first step is making it clear to the Republican Party and to the Democrats who flip-flopped on this issue, that was a really bad idea. The goal is ultimately a marriage amendment, which we'd have to pass through the legislature and take it to the people of New York. Maggie, uh, we've talked many times about this issue, not just in New York, but across the country. Uh, it, it appears now that the the camel no longer has his nose in the tent. He's knocked the tent down. Do you really hold out hope in your organization that you're going to be able to stem the tide? We're not talking about public opinion, but stem the tide of legislatures around the country Listen, we, that are voting to approve. But the message of despair is their chief talking point. We reversed gay marriage in California. We reversed it in Maine. Uh, the New, New Hampshire is going to vote to reverse gay marriage in uh, January, I would predict. We have won amazing victories. The trouble is that the press doesn't report them, so yeah. people get uh, you know the wrong message about how possible it is to reverse same-sex marriage. Yes, I do think that we can stop. There are very few legislatures. We stopped it in Maryland. We stopped it in Rhode Island. These are very deep blue states. The key, however, is that what was new in New York is that the Republican Party helped pass a gay marriage bill. Mm. And we're going to have to reverse that. What Republican elites are threatening to do is shut down the Republican Party as an effective vehicle. So there'll be no party willing to stand for marriage. So it's mission critical here. But I, the good news is I think we can do that. Ask Didi Scozafava whether it was a good idea that she voted for gay marriage. She's not a congressman from New York right now because she voted to pass gay marriage. And I think it's going to be a bloody mess in New York, but after the 2012 elections, it's going to be very clear to the Republican Party that it's a bad idea to vote for, to vote for gay marriage if you're a Republican, if we do our jobs right. And we pledged $2 million uh, to this effort in New York. Um, there are thousands of grassroots activists showing out. It's, it's kind of an exciting time if you ignore what the mainstream media reports right. about it. Maggie, it's always good to talk to you and keep us up to date with what your organization is doing. Thank we appreciate you so it. much.